Squarespace scheduling tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you about Squarespace scheduling tutorial, about Squarespace new scheduling software called Acuity. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. You know, Squarespace has launched its new, you know, scheduling software called Acuity, and you can use it to book your appointments, manage your calendar, manage your appointments, and all of that. And it's basically like your personal assistant, as they say over here so let's get started so over here in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can set up you know your bookings your appointments and how you can customize your scheduling page as well so let's jump into it for first things let's go ahead and sign up the sign up process is very simple you just simply click on this button over here in the middle that says try it now take two minutes try it now and then you will be arrived over here where you just simply have to create your account. A creating account is very simple. You can create your account with Google or with email. You have more options over here like, you know, Apple and Facebook as well. So it all depends on you or you can, you know, sign up with your same account that you use your Squarespace account with. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google. And once you signed up, it's just going to go ahead and start your trial over here and start setting up the schedule appointments and bookings and all of that so give it a couple of seconds for it to set up everything up and we can move on with the rest of the video all right so once it's done that this is how it's going to look like over here so as you can see so over here you just simply have to enter in the business name and the industry that you work in right so for example let's just say that you have a hair salon or barber shop or maybe even a yoga center or whatever right so i'm just simply going to go ahead and enter in johns and co let's just have, say that we are a barbershop and click on continue then you select the days like availability of you know your salon so let's just say you work from monday to friday right and then you enter in the time over here for example let's say you start at 9 a.m to 9 p.m right so you just simply copy that and you paste it over here on the rest of them and then you just simply click on next and now since this is a barber shop you're going to offer one-on-one -on -one appointments but if you have like other classes you know group sessions that like a yoga center or whatever then you can go with the classes we're now we're going to stick with appointments and click on next and then you just add in the name of your service so like for example signature hairstyle over here and this costs you like 25 dollars and the duration of it is going to be 40 minutes and then you just simply click on next then you can go ahead and connect your payment methods such as stripe square or paypal it's pretty easy you just enter in the email over you know whatever your account number is in that integration and then you just simply click on connect for now we're just simply going to skip now and move on later so over here as you can see this is how it looks like this is going to be your calendar oh it's reloading give it a second so this is how it looks like right so first things first what we're going to do is we want to add limits all right so over here click on edit default limits at the bottom what this will allow you to do is it will allow you to add limits so that people can book you before a certain period of time or after a certain period of time so for example the minimum hour right over here limit when clients can schedule reschedule or cancel appointments so your clients can schedule appointments with the minimum of let's say 12 hours all right and they can book a schedule appointments for you know default it says a year but we don't want that let's just say that we would like to have it for 30 days right for 30 days yep that looks good and then for rescheduling appointments or canceling schedule appointments you have to you know uh give a 12 hours before and you can add other things as well and then you have your start interval so whenever you start your you know appointments you get like maybe you can start at 15 minutes before there we go and then you have a minimize gaps over here so what this will do is it will reduce or remove gaps between your appointment or calendar enabling minimize gaps will limit the availability slots after appointments are booked so if you want to turn it on you can go ahead and do that avoid any gaps between appointment during the day or avoid small gaps but allow gaps of at least one hour so let's go ahead and add let's say two hours we can't go minimum than that we can only go for as low as two dollars yep that looks good and when it looks busy all right reduce the number of availability appointments by if it's you know a busy day then you can remove the available you know then you can ask say like since it's a busy day you're already pretty busy you don't want more appointments so let's say 40 percent, right so yeah everything that looks good then just simply click on save and you are good to go so now we're going to move over to the next step we just simply have to you know customize our scheduling page so over here 
as you can see, we have a checklist. We simply click on customize your scheduling page. It's going to take us over here where we simply have to customize the appearance. Now, over here, we have appearance, scheduling page option, and advanced CSS. Now, if you have like your own code that allows you to edit or, you know, customize, you know, page or that in a certain way, then you can go ahead and add that over here. But if you don't, you can continue with the options provided over here. So what hey, we're going to do in appearance, we're going to change the template from daily to monthly so over here this is how it looks like on a daily you know appointment so over here you will have all of these appointments over here you have your working hours over here but if you want you can switch it to monthly i like to switch it to monthly because it gives you uh you know all of the days that you want to work with uh, individually and then if you click over there and then you can see all of your hours over here next you can go ahead and upload a logo now if you don't have a logo you can go ahead and create one by using square so if you click over here, let me open it up in another tab. So over here, you can go ahead and create a logo for Squarespace over here. Just enter in the, the name of your company. So it's Johns and Co's, right? Click on next. And then over here, you just simply search for a, you know, a individual, let's say, logo or shape that you want. So I think this mustache looks good. You can even move it up or down as well. It all depends on you so over here this is in the center i want to put this into the center as well so yeah i think that looks nice next we can also add let's say a scissor we have a bunch of different scissors over here you can choose whichever one you want um let's go with this one you can move this down over here you can change your shapes whatever you want or you can put it over here at the end yeah i think that looks much nicer or you can select all of them and move it over here whatever you want so yeah i think that looks good overall and then you can even add a tagline as well you like the very best over here i think that looks cool and then let me just actually move this all of it over here is it in the center here we go put this over here and then we put this over here as well so yeah that looks nice then we just simply click on save logo and download the logo, download it black. There we go. Now that that's downloaded, now we go back to, you know, Squarespace scheduling website. We choose the logo and we upload it. So now that that's uploaded, it will show us later when we have, you know, um, reloaded the page. And then you can add like scheduling instructions over here. So you can add like a special instructions like uh, for you know customers or those who want to schedule an appointment or book an appointment you could be like you know to not uh, schedule anywhere between an hour before your appointment or three hours before appointments you know uh, maximum you have to schedule before 12 hours so that you have a little bit of time to breathe and stuff like that and then you have your week start over here week starts on monday and you have your time format language time zone and all of that next you can choose your fonts as well so over here you have to you have all these different fonts i'm going to go with oswald over here so if we expand the view this is how it looks like if we wanted to you know change it to let's say railway then this was how it's going to look like so thing looks cool then you can change the background as well you can maybe like add it blue or maybe go with a yellow background like this one over here yeah yellow looks cool then you can add the header text over here you can go with the black one or a red one as well so this is how it's going to look like but i think the black one looks pretty cool so we're going to stick with the black one then you have scheduling background over here so let's we select blue then this is how it's going to look like for the background of the schedule but i like the white color and it looks cool then you can select the text as well we're going to go with black then you have button and accents for this one we're also going to go with a red color i believe so whenever someone hovers their mouse over it it's gonna be red so yeah i think overall the accent color looks cool everything looks great then you just simply click on save changes and you are good to go and over here this is how it looks like now if we expand the view this is our logo over here and this is everything else looks cool it looks great we are good to go so next once that's done, you can add more stuff over here. You can share your scheduling page on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. We're not going to do that. Next, you can go ahead and sync with your other calendars as well, such as Google Calendar, iCloud, Outlook, Outlook One, one-way subscription, or whatever. Just simply click on Google Connect to Google Calendar, connect your Google profile, click on Allow, and you are good to go. So then just simply select your holiday that you want or the calendar so i'm going to choose the calendar over here 
and I'm going to choose here birthdays as well. Once everything is done, just simply click on save and you are good to go. So next, that is it. So next, what you can do is you can add like a payment method, gather client info with intake forms or customize emails and text reminders and schedule your website, add scheduling to your website and you are good to go. So pretty much that's it. That's how you use Acuity uh, or Squarespace scheduling software. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then, take care and goodbye.